Hello everyone, welcome to Critique. Um, today we're Let's doing, I don't know, what is this going to be, Ali? Just a, just a, just a ramble? Oh, this is a, a, a background noise. Hey, alright, background noise today. Which we, we're we're going to have, you know, just the three of us and um, this cute anime girl in the corner. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot the anime girl in the corner. Oh the no, you run. forgot the most... You forgot the most important thing about today's cast. <laughs> no. Oh no. See, feature, feature difficulties. That's, uh, that's how it goes, right? Uh, yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to be talking um, a little bit about the most recent phenomenon sweeping the internet right now. Um, very, very popular. Very, um, you know, very, it's, they've taken the world by storm. The uh, phenomenon known as the VTubers. Um, as with the the lifers. <laughs> yes, the hollow lifers, yes. the Nichi Jojis, or however you say it. Um, Niji Sanji. Yeah. Nichi Sanji. I know. I always get that wrong because autism. Um, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be just having a casual kind of talk about that. You know, what, what we think about it. Um, maybe talk about some of the recent troubles, troubles in the high seas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and also possibly, I don't know, you know who we like. Maybe, maybe we might even watch some videos. You know, watch some memes. Well, I've I've uh, I've only playing with two other VTubers. Oh well. Because yeah. I like her. We'll just see how we'll just see how we go. So I guess we'll just kick off with like you know what do we, what, what, how do how do we how do we take this? You know what do we what do we reckon is our take our hot takes on the beaches? Well, the, the thing, we can go big or we can go small, so oh, well, how are we going to take it? Well, I don't know, Harry, you know. Hey, let, let, let's, one, one of my friends um, expressed his opinion that they are kind of like the antithesis of the thought, or the anti-thought. Can we say thought? Yeah, we can say, we gonna, we, I, okay. I don't, I don't even, don't, who cares? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, they're, like, they're like the anti-thought, right? And it's like, you watch, like, any video by It's a Gundam, half the time he's complaining about, like, these Twitch thoughts and stuff like that. And then, like, these girls explode. And one, like, they're cartoons, so it's not like they're showing any skin. Um, you know, and it's not like they're, you know, they're, they're the physical, um, or rather, the visual appeal of them is in their character design. Um, and then they kind of provide i guess the animated soul of uh that brings that character to life and so it's kind of like watching an anime character play video games draw sing etc and do all this you know cheesy corny stuff i, 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 think, I think there's there's also the fact that i i believe a lot of them um they don't push for the money as well like no, they never, don't. They don't call never, them. There's never a push for like, um, like hell. Most of them read super chats like at the end of the stream. Which yeah. thank you, thank you, because I tell you something. Like, it, it's fine if you're like a small streamer and you read them out as you get them, because obviously you're not getting like hundreds of them per minute. But like, holy shit, do I get annoyed with streamers that will be like every five seconds just like halting the like flow of the stream. To read a donation, it's like, I hate that shit. Yeah, it's like it's like a commercial break, right? <laughs> yeah, but like yeah, that's like the thing you, is, like yeah. these these girls will like spend an hour reading all the super chats and donations mm. and stuff like that, right? And yeah, it's it's just, it's hysterical, and and it's like they yeah they do they'll read some sometimes they'll read the messages, uh, it depends, but like um, yeah they'll yeah um, but they'll they'll at least read out the people the names of the people who who sent the super chats and stuff and they'll say thank you and it's like wow um so there's not this this sense of entitlement with regards to my money right it's it's like you don't for some reason you don't you're you're not you're not humiliating and shaming me into giving you money that frankly i should be humiliated and shamed from giving to you they're, they're, they're genuine, <laughs> genuinely um appreciative Yes, they are well, genuinely appreciative. I'm, I'm going to push back, and that's that's 
this is a this is a personal thing. This is this isn't isn't unique to VTubers. No, but I feel like it's relevant because I think it ties into the um, the fact that VTubers have this. It's I, I've I've talked about this privately before, but I think that there's an interesting kind of dynamic and difference going on, right? There's something there's something about the fact that it's the anime girl and it's much more reliant on personality and the you know characterization of the VTuber than, you know, looks or anything like that in terms of like a real life stream. That is forming these parasocial relationships, right? Because that, that that's that's kind of what's going on, is that you're forming a parasocial relationship with this character, right? And I find it very interesting how a lot of people are relating more to these characters than they are, let's say, like a 3D stream, like a, like a, you know, a normal Twitch streamer, webcam, playing game, talking with chat, you know, same kind of things. But there's, there's something about VTubers that is kind of like a, a hyperdriving these... Um, relationships right these parasocial relationships that we start to form uh, with these with, with we people. can um the, I, I by the way i fixed the avatar i'm hey. now cute anime girl the 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 the, the elf crow from princess connect yay. <laughs> yay we better not be monetized no, Pokero, i think it'll be, it'll be fine it'll be fine um um so the parasocial relationships yeah and I do think it's more of a both way thing because you know, if you're not real, you can have, you be, can be more honest with your audience because you know there's less social pressures mm. and that's fun. So you can say more outrageous things and the audience can laugh at the outrageous things. Uh, I think that actually that's one of the things that I've noticed about um, I think the Hollow Live and Niji Sanji girls to a great extent is I mean Loli and I were talking about this. Um, a uh, couple, like last week, we, we were talking about the idea of uh, what's in wrestling. It's called kayfabe. And mm. it's the, uh, the basically, it's the preservation of the illusion. You never break kayfabe, right? And so we were talking about, like, how much of this is kayfabe? How much of this is them preserving the illusion yeah. playing the character? And, and I'd say 10 to, I'd say, like, minimum 10%, but, like, really honestly, max 20 or 25. I, I think I the think majority of I, this is them. Yeah, I think what they're doing is they're, like... I don't think that the characters themselves are, like, how they are all the time. I think it's no, kind of, no, like... No, 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 no. I think it's kind of, like, an exaggeration of their traits, right? So they're, yeah. they're taking, they're taking like, them as a person. So they're not... It's not like they're acting a completely different character. It's that they're taking, you know, stuff that they're already yeah. kind of familiar with and comfortable with. And that's, I feel, why it comes off as more authentic. They're because turning the, they're, yeah. they're turning themselves up to eleven, in other words. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They, I think that's that's what it is because because if it was like a full act, a lot of these girls would be really good actors, <laughs> right? If it was a full act, then there's there's definitely like some talent going on right here. Yeah, I agree. Well, the, the thing is, is that the, there is an example of somebody who was full yes. act, and then yes, I was gonna bring that up. Um, what's her? What was her name? Because I I can't. I can't. I can even pronounce that. Um, um. <laughs> Her name was... Ki... Uh, Era. Well, let's call her Era. Yeah, she, she, her, she, was one of, she, she was one of the very early Niji girls. Um, Niji the, one, the one with the orange hair and the kind of like... Um, countryside girl kind of look, right? The, um, the, the Sound of Music. Sound of Music uh, kind of look, on, yeah. On the yeah. Green Hills. Yeah. So when she started out, she she was putting on the act. She was putting on the on the cute the, the what was it? it was like innocent kind of girl act, yeah. right? And then like innocent high pitched. And then what ended up happening was she was doing a GTA stream and she just kind of broke down, and she just kind of gave up and she just was like, no, this is not who I am. I'm fucking done. And she was like complaining about how like this was like something that the, like the company was doing and they were recommending that she do this and that and then but. The interesting part of that whole thing was the reaction to it, right? Because the reaction to it was everyone was extremely fucking supportive of her, and was like, "No, this is yeah. yeah, this is this is this is this is 
bullshit, just be who you want to be and do your own thing. And ever since then, she has. And it's she's now become this, like, crazy fucking pervert. <laughs> like, yeah, crazy it, money. Well, it, this crazy money, 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 money obsessed pervert. And it's fucking hilarious. It's great. Money grabbing. Give, give, me, give me money. Give me money. Which, which, yeah, I love her. What's I funny her. about this... <laughs> What's funny about this, though, is just like, because, and that's the thing, is a, there, there's that very, uh, I don't know how famous it is, but it's funny as hell, it's called How Live in a Nutshell, uh, oh, this yeah. YouTube video, and it kind of, it, it kind of, you know, shows the big interview with, um, I forget his real name, but they call him Yago. Yago. Yeah, they, they, um, the interview with Yago, and he's talking about, um, you know, how they originally wanted to create this idol group, kind of like AKB48, and you know all that other stuff and it's like yeah that didn't happen and i think a lot of it is because the authenticity is what sells right yeah. this this girl probably got way more support and way way more uh fans from being who she really yeah, is she's, than being she e is execution. One of, yeah, she's one of the, the more popular Nishi Sanji girls, I think, um, from what I understand. She, yeah. She's pretty she's pretty up there, especially because she had um, quite a few good memes at the start. And and her, <laughs> the most recent one is great, where um, she, she was doing pulls in this, like, um, I think it was Idolmaster Gotcha game or something, and she gets, like, yeah, a, gotcha. she gets, like, a rare pull, and she literally just starts, like, acting like a gorilla, and it's fucking hilarious. Well, the, 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 the joke is that she didn't get what she wants, and oh, started I thought acting she like did, a gorilla uh, until she got what she wanted, oh, and that was screams okay. and joy. That's yeah. I misunderstood what that was because like yeah, like uh, 20, 20 pills in like where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> yeah, because I'm because I'm not I'm not <laughs> familiar with I'm not familiar with the gotcha right, so I didn't know that. But that's hilarious. That's even, that, that makes it even funnier actually. <laughs> but so I, like, I I always five, five I always, pills um, in. I always remember uh, her from the one time she um her fucking um oh, what was it? It was uh DMM book app that she uses to read her erotica <laughs> was on her oh sonic oh my god so because what happened for was she was um playing like some mobile game on her phone right and she was recording her phone like record using like a sonic like i think it was probably something like windows like phone thing the thing that you use to stream your phone onto your computer right um yeah. she was she was like playing some mobile game and she accidentally like minimized the window and it showed so her, to the home screen yeah it showed her home screen and on her home screen it had like dnm.com something or other and everyone in the chat started like pointing it out and she just straight up like no no hesitation no fucking like worried about it or anything just was like oh yeah yeah that's the app i use to read my porn books <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm just like, I'm like, yes. <laughs> well, it, it's yeah. What's funny about that is like, it, it's hysterical because it's like no idol group would ever be allowed to get to no. this point. And in the early yeah. days, in the early days, they did have a couple scandals, and you know, mm. and and this kind of relates to what we're going to talk about a little bit later. But like, they did have a couple scandals. Like they had like the whole thing with Toa, where yeah. there was um they, you know, there was uh, she forgot to mute her microphone. And there was a man's voice in the background, and everybody in, everybody started flipping out. And it looked like she might have gotten shit canned, but she had an overwhelming amount of support. From what I understand, a lot of that support was really spearheaded by her overseas fans. Yeah, because more and more Western fans didn't care didn't care as much, and then now she she gained some more yeah. general support back. Still not, you know, the most popular of the whole life. Yeah. But, but, she, but you know, she, she, she got enough support to not get shit canned for that, and I have yeah. a feeling, I have a feeling that um, even though there's still the issues with idol culture and all the stuff surrounding Hollow Live a little bit, I think that because it's starting to become more of a global thing in recent years, I I think the company might be starting to realize, hmm, <laughs> yeah, the, maybe like, well, the, maybe the... we need to start acting less like an idol company and more like yes. a multi-channel network. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, is that um, we talk about whole life a lot because they have more production values. And, yeah. Uh, around yeah, but they, people, they, but they have they have also they have better production values, but they also have like really really bad management skills. 
Well, the, the, Far the thing worse I would say was that, uh, you, let, let Ellie finish, that, that Nichi Sanchi is way, way bigger. Yes. Um, Hollow Life is, is a small company compared to Nichi Sanchi, which is, has legitimate overseas departments. Uh, and correct you know, me if I'm wrong. And correct me if I'm, if, I, if I'm wrong, but Nichi Sanji is primarily to do with an app. Like, it's, it's, um, they have, like, an, an iPhone app that you, they use to do, like, the, the, like, the face tracking and that kind of thing. So, theoreti uh, theoretically, I, any, anyone with an iPhone can technically, like, set up to but Yag Yago, and, Yago said and, the same thing. Yeah, it's about something, Hololive. It's, yeah, it's something like that where, like, you, they use like a like because because iPhones have this like um, face like AR emoji type thing where you, they have like the fa the facial recognition. Stuff. Yeah, that's that's apparently what they're mainly using for a lot of these is that technology. Um, I think that if you like make it big, obviously you, you move on to like that you get you get upgrades right <laughs> as you as you move on and uh, stuff. And I think that a lot of the girls are actually getting upgrades now in Hollow Live um, with uh, their Live 2D yeah. is getting upgraded, which yeah, is good. Yeah, most of them are getting uh, updates to their Live 2D models. Which so, um, some of them look better than others, though. Hato's one, I'm not too sure about. I'm not. I'm not sure about Hato's one. I think Matsuri's well, and um, Fubiki's look alright, but I don't, I don't. I don't know about Hato's. Hato's looks a little weird. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Katarina won the game. Yay! Hey. Uh, like, it's like it's when it's it's like when she looks to the side, and how the avatar like, like moves, like to look. It looks like the, it, it looks like they took like the two D like model and just like plastered it onto a three D model. And it looks very weird to me. I don't I don't know what it's what's up with Harto's one, but it, the effect looks all right with everyone else. I think it's just Harto's avatar. It just doesn't it doesn't translate. I guess. Um, but any, but anyway, um, yeah, I think that, um, yeah, Nichi Sanji is, is it's interesting how Nichi Sanji is least talked about, despite the fact that, like you said, it is it is technically bigger, and they have substantially more talent. Like they have tons of people on yeah, Nichi Sanji. More people than I can than I can remember. More people than I can. Yeah. No. Like, and then you've also got the different branches. Like, I think, um, I know Hollow Live has different branches, but Nishi Sanji has, like, a Chinese branch. And interestingly enough, the um, Indonesian branch, where they're allowed to speak English, <laughs> which is yeah. great. Um, yeah, the Indonesian branch is great. Where they're and they have an English brand, or I thought they were I think, I think, I think they do have an actual English, English branch, but I don't think it's very um, well established yet. It's, it's mostly like, yeah. from India. Yeah, I think there's only, like, a couple of people on it I as think well, there's, like, a three people in it. I don't think it's, like... The Indonesian one's a lot more established. Um, uh, before we talk about first or about Nisi Sanji, I just wanted to go back to Toa for one second. Yeah. 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 And say that yeah, I... <clears throat> uh, so another thought, I think, uh, another subject that we're going to talk about <laughs> so many so many another thoughts. thing so many thoughts so many thoughts. Your head, yeah. the thing is is that that Toa learned uh, English during the time that she was mostly supported by English overseas fans to the point that she's better than others yeah it's, well it's, probably it's, with the exception it's... of Kiryu Koko because she's actually from yeah. the States yeah yeah but, but let's Exceptions aside, yeah. it's it's the uh, Toa learned English, um, learned some English mm. to better communicate, and yeah. I mean most all livers do, all the life Nichi do. Yeah, I think, I think it's helping. Support. I think it's helping a lot with a lot of them, um, to, and, yeah. I, and I've noticed that a lot of them have been starting to kind of pick up on like the memes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Up on the meme phrases. Yeah, the meme it's, phrases it's, and stuff. It's weird. Yeah. It's, it's the weird. Slang. It's like it's it's like it's like the, us 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 bloody internet weebs are teaching our the, the kids how to how to slang. You know. Well, and it's <laughs> like, also kind of going back. It's coming back because like one of the funny things is like you'll see a lot of um, Westerners spamming grass, and that's yeah. because like the uh, uh, the the W which stands yeah. for what I which means to laugh. The W looks like, if you spam the W, it looks like waving grass. 
yeah. some people would put the uh, the kanji for in Japan would put the kanji for grass kusa, and then like <laughs> everybody just started saying grass when that was explained. Why are they fucking like? Oh, I looked this up in my kanji dictionary. What the hell is everybody up with spamming the grass kanji? Grass, yeah. And it's like now people just say grass basically means lol. So it's become a kind of weird international slang that's yeah, come out of this. It's, it's it's a good old cultural back and forth in Wales in that indeed wara and then so wara was uh, the, the the symbol and it became the w and the wara 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 and it's great yeah you know, the, the wara the w became kusa and kusa and now people say kusa like they say low loud. yeah and they'll say yeah. big kusa <laughs> they'll say big kusa for like uh uh like yeah what is it La- laughing my ass off or something like lmf yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. that one. They'll say big kusa for that and stuff it's, like that. Yeah, it's very. It's there's a lot of really interesting things going on with this, um, and I think it's very worth keeping an eye on. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, well, that's what I find so intriguing about this because, like, by and large, very, very. There have been VTubers for a while. Like Kizuna I was the first really big one. Yeah, yeah. But K- Kiz, K- Kiz, there, there were even VTu- technical VTubers before Kizuna I, but Kizuna I was the first one to really kind of take off on a global scale. The, the thing with Kizuna I, I know we, we comp- never got back to Nishi Sanchi, but yeah, whatever. We'll get there in a bit. Uh, well, we'll come back around this time. We'll, 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 we'll come back this is, this, is, this, is, this is a background noise. We, we don't have any structure. We're going to fucking jump around. Uh, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. We can... Like, listen, I wasn't a streamer, let's say. Y- yeah, that's that's actually so, an interesting thing to. to that's back true. Yeah, to it. she did not stream. I, I think because I um I've watched Econ. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I'll sorry, sorry, in order to 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 say something against what. Kiss and I did stream, but she wasn't a personality. She didn't. She didn't stream she... in the same way that. Like her, the, the majority of her content was not the same. Yeah, because the because yeah. Niji Sanji and Hollow well, Life are she, primarily streaming based. Yeah, right? no, I mean what I videos. what I mean yeah. is is like a lot of her stuff was mostly like almost like a like a show, like a variety yeah, I was gonna, show. Or I, something. I, I was I was going to bring that up because I've watched um, Econ um, made a really really good. I mean, he repeats himself a few times in the video, but you know. He, he suffers from mother's basement syndrome a little bit, but it was still a very good video, and I recommend watching it if you're interested in getting into this kind of stuff. Where he talks about Kizuna Ai, and he, he describes it exactly how you're describing it, where, like, the very early sort of stages of this, right, were more like a variety show type thing, right? Because you had Kizuna Ai, and you had, like, I don't know, a few other ones, right, at the time. Uh, I don't recall who they were, but there were, like, I think, like, three or four, maybe five other, like, Bigger, like VTuber you mean, personalities. Uh, I'm, I'm. The thing was that Kusuna I was the for for rarity, personality, mm. uh, from from the, 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 the funny bits in the shows. Mm. Um, Shiro. Ah, uh, yeah, I like G. I liked Shiro for a while. I I found I found her her video where um somebody translated it where she's playing Doom 2016 and she gets the chainsaw. And it's like that. That's how I found her channel, right? Yeah. And then it was like, so Shiro, Shiro was a streamer. Then you had Akari, and she was more of a Kuzuna I. And then you had some, basically idols with, anime avatars. Mm. And that was kind of the the, the, the landscape. You got Kuzuna I, the big, uh, the the show, did the show. Yeah. Um, Akar, not, I think I'm getting her name wrong. Something Aka, Aka Hikari, Akari, something like that. Yeah, there, there, was, there, were, there were a few at the time yeah, that were kind of around. But but, but they're was, they're they're all missing something. That, they're missing they're mi- well, yeah, they're that, missing something because a lot of them, and this was the problem and why Kizuna I has kind of fallen off recently, right? Is because it was very corporate, right? It was very. Um, yep. Because at the time, the technology was very... Um, Expensive. This is, this is, the, the, yeah, they, we're talking like 2012, right? Ish, like even even like older than 2012. Because I know Hololive was... And... I know Hololive was established in 2012, I think. 
And the uh, thing was that because the, the technology was focused on full 3D models. Yeah, it was full 3D models and full 3D, like, body tracking. Animation. Kind of stuff. And so it was, it was very, um, yeah, it was, it was very corporatized. I mean, to and start. And expensive to do. Yeah, to start, right? And I think that as time has gone on, because, again, we were talking earlier about, like, the appeal of... VTubers, right, and the appeal of Hololive, and part of that is the, the the authenticity and just the idea that these are just like normal people, right? Like they're just, they're just they're just normal people that are just like doing their thing behind the 3D, you know, avatar or behind the two live 2D avatar. But with Keys and I, it's very obvious that it's a Japanese variety show, right? It, it is a this is this is like like you, you I would imagine Keys and I on television doing the same stuff and exactly it feel it wouldn't feel out of place right like it wouldn't feel out of place to have a keys in our eye video be like sort of an in-between thing between two different tv shows or something right like i can kind yeah, of because she see did that. she did a lot of um pulling things out of the box and playing with it and funny jokey bits and i mean the, the reason why she got popular was doing the, the, the funny oh what I uh, what's an ambulance I'm going to to draw a balance scale <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, so and stuff like that so yeah there, there's a lot of um yeah so early on it was more like that but then of course Hololive and Niji Sanji showed up and it was, and then it became more of a like a, um, more well, of a wider do, do we, wider thing. Do we want to get the history a little more a little bit more history because um when Kizun I came around, Nichi Sanji was the second yeah or basically the first company with VTuber. And um this maybe it was this is an Econ's video or maybe I read it somewhere else that Nichi Sanji did the did the, the uh, Mito character in show as an experiment, but it was so popular they just kept going and just kept yeah, hiring and you, hiring and getting you, and getting. Yeah, I think you talked about this before, and I, it kind of because because I mentioned before that Nichi Sanji was initially it was more kind of like a just an app thing, like it was a company that had produced this technology and had produced this app, right? And they were like, okay, we kind of need like a example of how this works for people to kind of try and sell this app right and so they yeah. made this like vtuber girl to kind of sell the app Me too. yeah and then and then eventually it just started becoming popular and they were like oh hang on a minute we, we might actually she have became people. popular yeah she yeah. became popular and but then nichi sanji was like hang on a minute we might be onto something here you know <laughs> you know we might be onto some kind of thing here, and then decided to roll with it. And I think that's. And the difference was, of course, well, Nishi Sanchi said, "Oh damn, these these people are the reason why people watch." Kizuna Ai Company said, "Oh, this avatar is why people watch." Yes. And that's that's why Kizuna Ai has fallen off because uh, if you people don't know, there was the big drama where the original, um, I don't want to say actor, but the original person behind Kizuna Ai, the voice and the the, the female. Um, no, well, let's say the voice. Yeah, the vo you will say the voice. That's a lot more nicer. Yeah. So the original voice behind Kizuna Ai. Um, now I don't know. I think the term they use not, in Japan is like Naka no Hito, the person within. The yeah. idea, like, they provide yeah. the soul. Yeah, something like that. Now, Ali, you'll have to correct me, because I don't know, like, the full details. She wasn't fired, right? Like, was she fired, or was she, did she quit because she didn't like what was going on? Because I, 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 I don't, honestly don't know. I could look at that. I, yeah, 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 I, 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 read, I, read, I read something about this, and I'm trying to recall the details, but yeah, it was something like cause, they cause were going to expand, wanna... they were going to have more Kizuna eyes, and like yeah, they were going to get other people to voice it and stuff like that, and like there yeah, was a good I portion don't... of the fan base over here that's just like, uh, it looked like a lot of people were pissed because it's like, we don't want this corporate shit. Just give us fucking one kiss in the eye. She's fine. Yeah, and, I and, didn't. Um, yeah, they kind of just like they they kind of just like ended up giving her a horizontal promotion. Mm. If what I if what I understand is right, they didn't 
shit canner, but they kind of like move through to another job. Yeah, because yeah, I don't, I don't want to like get it wrong, right? Yeah. But from my understanding, she was either fired or she quit one or the other in relation to the whole fact that they wanted to kind of because what they've done is they've as you said they made they've made multiple keys in our eyes you have like the gamer keys in our eye you have like the variety show keys in our eye you have the music keys in our eye that's doing like the songs and the dances and that kind of stuff and like they, they wanted they got other people to voice these different keys in our eyes and have this like different like keys in our eye clone stuff and from what i understand she was either like not very happy with that or she ended up getting pushed to the side and was not very happy about that and either left or was fired and yeah from what from what i understand she's doing well though because she um i think she set up her own youtube channel where it's like her in real life like not not as a vtuber it's just her and she's basically just keys in her eye but real <laughs> like she's still like she's still the same person right and she's doing, yeah. like, her own kind of, like, vlog type stuff. And she's doing, like, the occasional, like, gaming stuff every now and then. But she's mostly doing, like, just vlogs and talking to people. And it's, it's you know, it's interesting. But, um, yeah, like, and I think that that's why Keys and Eyes kind of dropped off is, is yeah, like, people are not into that. Because that that's, they're missing the point. They're missing what Hololive and Niji Sanji have kind of picked up on is, like, yeah, the the authenticity of it is, is key. It is it is the driving thing that people are into with this, and if and, you yeah, and me, I, I, if you if you mess with that, then you have you, then you're not doing it right. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and it's uh, let's not forget that that the, that they also learned that you don't need 3D models at all. Mm. That's true. No, you really don't. Just just a little moving to the side and talking, and it doesn't matter if the avatar gets stuck like I am now and just moving my mouth, <laughs> camera track. Track camera. Yeah, because let's be real. Like when you look at the very early like Matsuri stuff, like she doesn't actually move a whole lot. <laughs> you know. I mean, I'm not moving at all. Yeah, because the camera like, doesn't. Ah, it like, tracks again. Like the very, hey. the, the very, the very early like Matsuri stuff was very like I don't know stiff. I guess would be a way to. Put well, there was it, the whole didn't... the whole air air server thing with Corona, where it's just like the the camera would get like fucked up or something like that. The tracking would mess up and like. Her avatar would be replaced by the air server logo, <laughs> and it's like that. Oh you yeah, know, I remember like, that. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like, oh, uh oh, uh oh, what happened? And it's, it should be like, and then you see like air server get spammed in the, in the chat. You're like, oh no, I'll be air server again. Uh, oh, that's great. But like, you know, what what the other the other thing I think is I, I think a lot of this also really is is um it, to bring it back to Toa a, a third time. Right and the influence of the overseas fans, right? I honestly think that these VTubers probably would not have gotten the authenticity thing going quite as fast, and that I mean that's the I think that's ninety percent of the appeal for the West is the authenticity, mm. uh, especially because like Kizuna I well. was Kiz, people liked Kizuna I, but like pe I don't think people really went out of their way to watch her stuff over here and and i don't think a lot of people go out of their way to you know watch I, a lot I, of VTubers, I, I, I subbed to keys in her eye for a bit me too and i think that part of the problem initially is obviously the fact that stuff has to get translated so what would end up happening is you would like you would watch later a keys in her eye video and then you'd wait like a couple of days for the subtitles to come up yeah like, cause someone because someone would like translate also <laughs> youtube <clears throat> Yeah, thanks, no. Thanks for, getting, thanks for getting rid of that. Yeah, they're getting Fuck rid of that. Oh my god, I'm fucking mad about that. The, you know what? I I that is that is that is a Naritsu rant for another time. Well, I, I I could I could actually fucking I'll tell go you what about that. I think that applies, but will we'll, uh, uh, remind me to explain why because I don't want to change the subject. Yeah, because right I could I could rant about that for an. I do so, think so it but anyway, to, con to, to, to continue, like what happened to, to what happened to Toa was almost what happened to Hitomi Chris, and mm. most people don't know about Hitomi Chris who have gotten into Hollow Live. Hitomi Chris is, I think, the only retired member, and she retired like within a couple weeks of her debut, and it's like, well, what happened? Well, 
she was either a high school student or a college student, but like right on the border of being one or the other. And she got hooked up with a quote unquote v, v, VTuber producer. And this producer hooked her up with Hollow Live and bought her $700 worth of, of equipment to stream with in exchange for compensation, right? This is the whole Enjo Kosai compensated dating thing. So he got his compensation. She got signed up with Hollow Live. She starts streaming. And he wants to continue getting compensated. And so she threatens to go to the cops uh, for harassment. And uh, so he goes on Twitter and boasts about all... And, and he's done this to other people before, from what I understand. This guy's a real scumbag. I don't know his name, but from what I've heard, this is not the first time he's done that. Done this, and he regularly brags about you know, the, the young girls he dupes and then bags. And so he went public with this on, on, on Twitter. And Hololive, instead of taking any kind of steps to protect her, they did the standard Japanese idol shit and they just shit canned her. Right? He's like, oh, you're not a pure maiden and everybody knows it, so bye. And her, her and it, like one of her early streams, dude, they, they were saying like, um, I forget what the word for voice is, but it's like Akuma no voice, like you got the devil's voice. Like, spamming it in her, her chat. And she's doing her best to try to ignore it. You can find the video. It's still up on Nico Nico. Um, but, it, yeah, it's it's messed up. And it's like, yeah, she was she was dropped really, really fast. And that almost happened to Toa. And probably would if it wasn't for all the foreigners coming in and throwing their support. Because I don't... I think a lot of this has finally woken up the Japanese to the realization that... This bullshit idol fantasy that they have is, well, frankly, fucking toxic. And yeah, one. And well, I'm going to disagree a little bit in that Gibara or Era was popular despite not being at all the idol that she pretended to be, and she got support for it. Before, yeah, but th that uh, wasn't. There, there was, was no guy knocking on the door. Right, there was no. Yeah, that's the no difference. Evidence. And yeah, so mm. that's the, that's the thing. There's no, no, no. Her bodily integrity was not harmed. The maiden is still pure. Yeah, sure. Of course, I believe that, that. that. That's 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 a, that's a toxic uh, mentality. See, see, I, see, I see, agree. See, yeah. See, here's the thing, right? I don't fucking believe that any of these maidens are fucking pure, considering what they talk about. <laughs> Let's be fucking real. Like, well, no, no. I said bodily integrity. That's the yeah. I know what you. Bits. I know what you actually mean, right? But what I'm talking about is like these girls are obviously like no, no, no. What they're talking about is what I'm saying, right? Like I don't, I don't believe that. And, and this is the thing, right? It's, it's. There's a clash going on, right, between um the that whole purity bullshit. Which I'm glad is starting to get fu fucking phased out. I, I think it's getting phased out. Specifically because of a lot of, a lot of these girls are very crass, right? They're very um, talking about taboo shit that you don't really talk about usually, right? Like, um, I believe well, full, there's you're also a, the full, you're a, yeah, because full, you're a fan of, um, what, oh, what is it called? Like, the Nichi Sanji group of the four girls. Not, I'm not a fan. I've just seen the clip oh, where yeah? we're talking about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I, I could, I, but I saw the clip, and I'm, dude, I'm an old man, and that that got my heart beating pretty fast, though. Uh, I was like, "Whoa, oh damn!" I did not, I I'm did a, not know girls, or women were into that. That, 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 that. Okay, you've got, you've got fucking. Huh. Um, I was, ta I was posting about this in, in one of the chats before about um, uh, fucking Katarina um, talking about yeah. her um, her fucking NTR old man fetish. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I mean, right? These girls are talking about, like, you've got Matsuri, who's obviously a lolicon, right? And you've got all these other girls talking about, like, shit they're into and all this other nonsense. And it's like, come on, guys. Like, you can't, you can't, like, have that whole, like, oh, she's, she's a, uh, no, no, don't do it. Please. I'm a virgin. No. You can't have all of that shit and still, and have these, like, degenerates, right? <laughs> <laughs> to lack of a bit of time, uh, right? <laughs> there is, there is the, the thing that I think that 
unfortunately, the culture of pureness, especially when any male dares to they dare deigns to approach the fair maiden. I think that will remain a taboo, unfortunately. I have the, a feeling that that's the well, case. yeah, that's, be, that's gonna that's gonna I, take I, a while. That's gonna take yeah, a while. Yeah, that, that's what I was gonna say. It's gonna it's it's a slow process because that's such a like ingrained cultural like issue. I mean, there are, there are fucked uh, fuck uh, uh, fuck loads of of Western simps that would be like heartbroken to find out if like I don't know Cor Corona or Picora had a boyfriend, but like most of the, most of the guys. I think most of the Western guys, at least, would probably be like, you know, fuck that guy. I'm super jealous, and that's about it. <laughs> like, yeah, that's that's well, that, see, that, my, like that that that's my, about it. My my stance on it is because I, I I don't like watch these girls because I like want like I want like again, it's interesting because it ties back to that whole parasocial relationship thing I was yes. talking about, and like, what are you what are you getting out of this, right? Like, what is the like social um, like yeah, the, the, engage. Oh, what's the word? Well, no, that's not the word. I'm not engagement. Like the social connection. Uh, yeah, can, like what are you what are, what are you getting out of this? Like via health. Yeah. Oh, standpoint. I'm, oh, like, oh, via oh, a mean yeah. via a, via a mental health standpoint, right? Exactly. Like, looking at this is like like looking at this from like a mental health thing, right? Like, what are you getting out of this? Well, you're getting like the connection with this like character, right? And the way that I view it is like I don't particularly care what the like voice the inner voice right is doing in the back like if they have a boyfriend or whatever i care about the character because that's what i've attached to right i haven't attached to the real life person as much i've attached to Corona or like matsuri or like you know, any fubuki any of these characters i'm attaching to the avatar and the character right so even if like it turns out oh you know, Fubiki or whatever, they have a boyfriend, and yeah, hell, maybe the boyfriend like joins in on the streams or whatever. Like, I don't like that. That would honestly just be part of the character's story, right? That I've attached it, right? It would be part of the well, part of the you, journey. Like, what if what if the boy, what if the boyfriend becomes a VTuber character themselves, and then all of a sudden you have this like interesting like romantic kind of thing that you can kind of parasocially that watch. I do I, I do want to say you say you don't care for the, the, the uh, you don't care what the person does but you do care about the authenticity of the person behind it right he did right. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah that that is kind of a paradox kind of, yeah, that's right? true <laughs> That's true, you, 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 and that's why I'm. That's why I'm, I'm still form. I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm trying to like formulate this on the fly. Right? Yeah. It, could, well, so it, I'm, it, I'm. I'm gonna fuck up. <laughs> if, if if I if and I, that was a, and that was a fuck up. But I'm trying. I'm trying to like explain what I'm thinking, right? If, because it's if I because for me. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll let, I'll let you go. Yeah. If like, I, if I may, I um I I you pro perhaps have a, a similar view to it that, as as me. Mm. Is like what is my relationship with any entertainer, right? And the most I could get out of most people is maybe have somebody recognize a meme that I post up there and laugh at it or read my alias uh, in a super chat. And um, that's probably about it. And, you know, that's not really any serious connection, but... And I don't even, I'm not even going to pretend, right? You got some of these people who, like, will throw, like, like at the ethos. They will throw, like, thousands of dollars just desperately hoping they'll get a thank you in their name read. And it's like, okay, um, to me, this is just entertainment. And yeah, I, see I, I see these girls, like, the, both mm. the characters and the real-life girls, right? They're entertaining me. Yeah. And... Yeah. Yes, it's cool, and you do get to know them over time, but that's the thing is you got to keep in your mind in this awareness, right? And it's, I think it's a lot easier if, if for people like from my generation and and older people who have real life friendships, real life relationships, you know, real life stuff that they do. They're not neats. They're not trapped inside. Yeah. They're not, you know, super depressed insoles who, when the Civil War starts, are probably going to die starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah, yeah. that kind of, you know, uh, that, you, that you, kind di of you digress. You digress, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, that's the thing is, like, those people, like, they're the ones who, they already have a mental health problem. 
And so this yes. stuff is not helping them. Um, it's like they, they're so desperate for a connection. And, and you know, so they, they rely on this. I mean, for me, this is like... I, now, gave, I gave. Is this is? I gave. Complaining I'll, about simps isn't really. Okay, but well, I'm gonna then, let me jump in and say. You know, could, let, let me let me jump in and try and recover my shitty paradox that I just. Well, yeah, I did. The, you're shitty. right. I did digress. Um. So so, I think what I'm trying to get at is, like, for me personally, I'm content with just watching the funny meme and watching the funny stream yeah watching the watching the cute doggo rip and tear until there's nothing left um like, like i'm i'm content with that i'm not like that that's the extent of my parasocial like yes. connection it's not yes. i'm not i'm not i'm not watching this with the intent of oh i might you know oh she might say my name or oh she might see me in the chat and i have i have only ever like actually posted a message in like a chat maybe once or twice in my whole time watching VTubers, and um, I'm, I'm not gonna. Uh, it can be a game if someone spots me in the chat <laughs> twice. Um, uh, but it's it's yeah it's uh, I, I don't have the same kind of like. Thing. So for me, if it turns out that they had like a boyfriend or a girl, or whatever, you know, because there are male ones and we can get to that actually. Um, yeah. Like if, if it turns out that they had a relationship, for me, it would just be kind of like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And again, as I was kind of hinting at, like you could easily like turn that into a thing. Like you could actually authentically turn that into like part of the like experience like you could have shows similar to um what hannah did with her dad um what's it yeah her, I don't oh know. yeah um, yeah you need to explain is it her real dad that's or a real dad that's a real it's, dad it's, yeah it, right. it's, it's it's her real dad yeah it's it's straight up like she just got her dad All right, because there is a terminology in vtuber yeah the parent ah uh, uh, yeah i was gonna girl. say yeah, yeah i should i should ex i should yeah we should explain because you know for people watching um yeah so there so a lot of the time um, VTubers will consider their artist to be like their parent so you'll have like them refer to like if they're on a stream with their artist they will be like uh, they will refer to them as like their mum or their dad or whatever um, but but when I'm talking about Hannah um, I can't remember I always forget what her second part of her name is but um, Hannah from um, Holo uh, um, not Holo um, Niji Sanji Niji Sanji um, Indonesia, Indonesia yeah um, she 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 um, did I think for her 25k stream, she did a stream with her dad, and then for another milestone, she did um, Doom 2016 with her dad, and that shit is fucking hilarious. Oh, it is, dude. Her oh, it's so good. I, like the dad. I feel so and part bad of that, because her dad's like funnier than her. <laughs> yeah, like that. That part. That's part of it. Is that the dad is like unironically like fucking great, and I think that he should become his own VTuber because he's actually really fucking good. <laughs> Um, but like, that's what I mean, right? Is like that that kind of just becomes part of the authenticity, right? Like it just it just becomes part of it. So I feel like you could theoretically, like, sure, you're not gonna have like the whole like pure maiden simpy bu your bullshit. But if you yeah. manage to find a way to authentically tie in a romantic partner or a boyfriend or something like that into the character, right? Into it. I think that would be so, interesting. I think that would well, actually be quite interesting. They, they, there's only um, one problem with that, right? Uh, what happens after they break up? Because yeah. that's that, there's this old saying about like why you don't date coworkers is it kind of goes with you don't shit where you eat kind yeah, of deal. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Yeah, that, that's why I'm saying like it would be interesting, and I'm not sure if it would have a happy ending or not, but. You know, it's 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 just I'm just saying that I don't think it's a, it's directly incompatible, or at least I don't so, think that, I don't think that it shouldn't be tried. I guess. Could, I I have multiple things we could talk about, but should we just mention that Hollow Life has only female um, mm. talent yeah. and Nichi San has a bunch uh, of male. There well, is well, male well, talent, you know, well, but that's yeah, Hollow gonna, Stars. Was, it's a little. I was gonna, which one? I was gonna correct you, Ali, because Hollow Live does have a male component called Hollow Stars. Yago. <laughs> no. You mean Yago? No. No. You mean no. Hollow no, stars. no. No. I, no. No. They have Hollow Stars, which is like the male equivalent. They have a male like 
sect. Oh, it's, it's a separate thing. Yeah. It's well, ah. they do like sometimes. I, I I do agree. Like it is very gender segregated. They do keep the females and the male talent separate quite a lot. I think. Um, and from what I understand, the Hollow Stars are not actually doing as well. Um, although I think there's some there's some interesting talent there. Um, there's, there's 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 some interesting guys there that are doing. Yeah, some because it's things. it's it's when when Gun Kong comes together. Uh, Kanda and uh, Gundo comes together. They're hilarious together. You want to mm. ship them. You want to get married already, etc. Yeah, but Ebio, yeah. Mm-hmm. when Ebio and Ars are together, it's a constant semi-sarcastic insulting their each other the entire time. It's great. When, yeah, and that's that, I don't that, know, that kind of ties into what I was saying. Right, with like the idea of having like the, the, the you know romantic partners doing that. that's what I mean. Like you can have like the, you can tie it into all of that stuff, right? So like the, when I, Angie is lusting over uh, <laughs> Bettermont uh, every time they're collabing, yeah, it's great. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's good shit. So I think that there's definitely some compatibility there, and I feel like yeah, part of the problem is Hollow Live is is I feel still kind of trying to. Um, capture. Idol. They're trying to do that whole idol thing where Nichi Sanji is is not really doing that. So I feel like, yeah, it's <sighs> only time will tell um, how things are going to play out. But I hope that Hollow Live does kind of start to move away from a lot of the like idol culture type stuff because I feel like it is there is some definite issues with it. And those issues have been like well talked about and well established yeah. way before ho- way yeah. before Hollow Life became a thing. No, yeah, like, holy sh- holy shit! Some of the stories. <laughs> Perfect. Go watch Perfect Blue if you want to keep it in the anime. In yeah, the, yeah. But um, fiction world. But yeah, it's interesting you bring up. Yeah, like uh, Nichi Sanji has a lot of male talent. Um, and, and some of them are quite just a lot of talent in general. Yeah, a lot of talent in general. But hell, they've even got um, what's it, what's this? There's the one that's like the little imp thing. I think there was like yeah. a there was a dog one as well. There's one that's like a Shiba Inu. Yeah. <laughs> but they have um, that's correct. They have a they have a few um, interesting concepts going on um, with that. So <sighs> oh, man. yeah, but I I uh, let's let's forcefully bring up a topic that I want to talk about. Mm. The very limited view we get as um, we as we are Westerners get from the VTubers, the unfortunate reality that most of us don't know a word of Japanese and we completely (laughs) rely on the translators to one translate and to pick out what to translate, which gives I think. A slight negative edge to the Western side fandom hmm. because if you only translate the funny, the ridiculous, and the extraordinary, and the drama, you kind of yeah. get you kind of get the wrong impression of the VTubers. <laughs> yeah, that image. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, I, I agree with that, and I feel like that was one of the, I, I mentioned it kind of before when we were talking about Keys and I, that was one of the problems, was that, you know, you had to kind of, like, wait for the translations to come out, or, or like, for the community to translate, <laughs> fucking YouTube. Um, so, I, yeah, I agree with that, and I feel like that's why, um, you know, people like H- Hannah and the Indonesian sect of, um, also the Indonesian sect of Hollow Life, because I, I don't know. Yeah, that that chick's hollow life, isn't she? The squirrel. Girl? Oh no, she's not. Hey, no, she's not. She's. Not. Damn it! I keep getting them all confused because there's so many. Um, yeah, no, the the Indonesian sect of um, Niji Sanji is very popular because a lot of them do speak English and they speak English a lot. Um, like you have that squirrel girl who like she she, she speaks like fifty different languages because she's crazy. Yeah. Oh, and that's nice. I never watched uh, her, but she, she's she's pretty nice. good. I watched her. Um, I watched her play uh, Doom sixty four once, and she was quite funny. She's she's pretty good. Um, 
but uh, there's, there's... And, and I watch and I and I watch Hannah specifically because Hannah does speak English, so I can actually understand what yes. she's saying. Yeah, and, I, I and watch Artia yeah. um, as well, although she's Chinese, yeah. she's not Japanese, but like and, yeah, but, but she speaks she speaks English a lot. Yeah, and she streams on Twitch. She, it, she doesn't it, that it's either that or Billy Billy. She will not go on YouTube, which I find interesting. And she's trying to get Hollow Live people to move to YouTube. Or I'm sorry, move, move, to, move to, to Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, and it's like no, it, I don't think it's working very well, but uh, she's 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 giving it a try. So yeah, I think... well, yeah, I'm 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 not going to berate them for using YouTube as long as it works out for them, it's fine. <sighs> yeah. Well, but, I mean, um, you, I mean you... we, we can we can dislike YouTube all we want, but as long as it's working, it's working. Well, it's well, it's it's back to what you were talking about because I, I I actually think it's more interesting to talk about the whole language barrier thing, right? Um, yeah, let's, let's go back because because uh, I think that um, that's a very valid point in that um, we're, we we are getting a very created kind of curated is the correct word, very curated um, view of the whole thing. And I think that that can definitely um, adjust, like change people's perspectives of it. But a very filtered lens. Yeah. Which we but view the but the issue consumers. the issue we have is obviously there's not really a lot that we can kind of do about that. Oh, right. We learn Japanese. Because, well, yeah, but come on, yeah, full, yeah, no, yeah, everyone's gonna learn Japanese. Well, you know, let's stop playing video games for a while because Joe Reagan said so. <laughs> Yeah, all that time, Jay Rogan's is right. All that time we've been playing video games, we could be fluent in Japanese by now. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> but, so, sadly, it's not a serious song game. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. But uh, I, I think that um, there have been recent strikes. Like until you know, YouTube decided to kneecap everything. There were people that were trying to like translate the full streams. Yeah, which which I think is those guys need fucking medals because that's some dedication right there to watch like the whole stream and translate it like that's fucking great um uh, i and i let me let me say as a small time translator that translating is hard yes. yeah <laughs> and sometimes they say something completely innocuous a one word a two a, two, a three word sentence and god damn you're agonizing over it the entire day because what what they say is that one damn specific wordplay that they you do, mm. and there's no goddamn equivalent, so you're left to do some awkward shit to, to try to get to the original meaning. Yeah. So so those guys, those guys right there that do and translation that, is a is a hard job. Those guys right there that are doing full stream translations. That shit. That shit. Fucking. Still there? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still here. I'm still talking. Did you mute him? No. no, no. Ellie, full, did, full, you can... uh, yeah, I can hear him. Ellie, can you hear him? I think Ellie's having some technical difficulties. Ellie's having um, some technical difficulties. Yeah. Uh, but we'll, I'll, I'll just keep talking while Ellie um, tries to fix himself a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I think that there's definitely questions around that. Hey. Oh, you're back. There we go. Can we? Can you hear us? I am talking. Yeah, we can we can hear you, but you can't hear I us. I can't hear you. Uh, okay, yeah, F full you. you yeah, you I'm know, typing you, a message. Yeah, you type it out. Um, yeah, it's a, it, yeah, yeah, he's, he's dropping out and come back in. Here we go. Hey, we're back. Can you hear uh, okay, us? Okay, we're back. Good. Yeah, yeah, we're we're back. There we go. Must have been Discord problem. Okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, Discord. Um, yeah, but anyway, yeah. Um, I think that yeah, it's it's definitely an interesting. Uh, thing to talk about with the whole translating stuff, and I feel like hopefully as things kind of move along, we'll start to see um, more full stream trans. Because I don't, I don't mind. Because I, the way I typically watch um, a lot of these streams, anyways, I actually watch the vods because it's, it's, it, I could watch, I could slap it on in the background while I'm doing something else. Um, it's very rare that I actually manage to catch any live streamer as they're live because it's just like the time, you know. Having to like, watch at a certain time is always a bit of a pain, well, especially with New Zealand time zones. It's surprisingly easy in Europe because they, when they stream late at night, it's eight hours earlier, so they stream like yeah. early evening for most of us here. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, but for for New Zealand, it can be a bit scatter shot. 
a little bit. Well, you imagine. But I I'm, I'm, I'm complete. I'm like four, 13, four, 14 in some cases hours off of their clocks. Yeah, so, so I, don't like, mind, I don't mind. I don't. I don't mind watching the vods, and I typically like yeah. if I'm like with Hannah, I usually catch her vods when you know well, when can, they come out. Can I can I kind of bring up a side thing, sort of, re yeah, yeah, regarding yeah, yeah, this? Go. Because sure. it's like you're talking about like the language barrier and things like that. And one of the things that this has led me to do is to look up VTubers. I guess you can call them VTubers. Um, or just streamers in general on Twitch that are from Japan. And some of them are learning English. Uh, and this is... I've, I've uh, started following a couple. And... Uh, not only is this good English practice for them in some cases, this is great Japanese practice for me because yeah. usually there's like, you know, I, I was watching one like the other night and, and uh, she had maybe 50 people in the chat at any given time and she could read the individual people, right? They could, mm -hmm. they, they could pay attention um, and, uh, you know, they could interact with you and it actually is kind of yeah. like a two way learning experience. And it was, I think um, it, it's I think kind of Hannah, drawn me away from like the big, big names. The big and, ones, and, yeah. and now I'm yeah, looking at the little ones. I think Hannah talked about this a little bit on one of her Stardew Valley streams that I was watching where she, she says that she actually really enjoys um, the, the, cause she, she doesn't actually get like, um, I think at the time I was, cause I was watching her live in this case. I think she only had like maybe a hundred people or something like it was a very small like oh, dad she's doomed <laughs> oh no no but she was she was talking about how she actually enjoys the fact that she doesn't get a lot of like live watches because it means that it's a lot more like she describes it as just comfy because she gets to like interact with people on a bit more of a like as you mentioned full like an individual kind of level right? yeah the parasocial Where... relationship is a slight is is slightly more two-way yeah, because you, you know, because, and I think that that's a, it's a problem with, like, any, like, one of these streamers, regardless of if they're a VTuber or not, is once you get big, it's just, it's, you see how fast those chats fucking fly, man. Oh, God, like, yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. Like, even with stuff like slow mode, right, it's, you're getting, like, hundreds of messages per second, right, and it's impossible. Yeah, but it's... It's At impossible. that point, it's the sentiment. It's you. You mm. catch sentiment. You don't catch people. That's actually one of the things Artia was saying uh, when she was talking about Twitch. Is you could just spam the the memes, and that yeah. that you don't even have to read the memes themselves. Just like you know, deliver the sentiment. It, it, it's funny yeah. because like um, I watched her debut, her official Twitch debut. Even though she'd been streaming on Twitch for a while, she just made what is it affiliate something like that. Oh, she made a film. Yeah, oh, she, and, and so this was her tw official Twitch debut. And so they they had like a, a whole lore presentation and stuff like that. It was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, dude, lore. And like it got... That, it, that sounds great. There was, a, there was a tragic part to her backstory and all of a sudden you had like the Pepe hands meme and everything like that. <laughs> and it's like... So like... It, like it, and I'm thinking about this and I'm like, wow, like this, you know... I mean, you can do emojis on on YouTube, but you, like you can't, you can't, you can't yeah, post Twitch, Pepe. I think <laughs> I think Tw Twitch's chat is superior than YouTube's. I, I reckon, and I feel like part of that is when you watch on YouTube. Like I don't know anyone that watches YouTube in anything other than theater mode, where the chat is like not even visible. <laughs> By and large, yeah, I minimize chat. <laughs> like, like I don't like Twitch's layout is is vastly superior to YouTube's, especially when you have like the the full like the theater mode on Twitch, where you have the chat on the side and you have the big, you know, window. Right? Um, I feel like that compiles the issue on YouTube a little bit. And yeah, the emotes on Twitch are definitely very vastly better. Right? <laughs> Just Enormously fun. better. So I I agree with you. In you that you, I you have like to get a lot of, you have to get BTTV yeah. and Franker face though. I mean I mentioned this with you before, Phil, but I feel like I would I I reckon a lot of like the gaming streams, um, for stuff like Hollow Live, I think they should do it on Twitch. I feel like when it comes to like maybe the like talky streams, the just chatting stuff, YouTube might be a bit better for that. But I, the issue is that like. You're splitting like the content, right? Unless yeah. You, like, re unless you upload, and you can do this. You can have it set so that like your stream will automatically upload to YouTube on Twitch, right? Or at least I, when I was using Twitch back in the day, 
um, you could set it so that after your stream finished, it would just automatically upload the video to YouTube. Yeah, um, but then you can't interact with the, the, the people on YouTube. And I, I, that's, yeah. that's part of the problem, I think. Like, a lot of people do have multiple platforms, but there is a significant portion of Japanese people that are not on Twitch. And, yeah, like, yeah. most, like, only a few Japanese people are on Twitch. Most of them are on YouTube. And it's, it's funny because, like, with all the shit going on over here in the West, right, mm -hmm. with YouTube, with Google, with Twitch, with Twitter, with all this stuff, it's funny because, like, the Japanese are just, like, completely out of the loop. They're, like... They don't know what's. They're completely out of the loop about what's going you on over there. You, you don't know. You, you don't know how bad things really. Are. Well, they're starting to find out with things like you know the the demonetizations. All of a sudden, like Coco's streams yeah. are getting demonetized. Corona's That's, one of Corona's streams just got yanked down like a month ago or something. It was in midstream. It got yanked it, down. It's interesting, and, yeah, how they're starting to, yeah, like, because it's weird, because it's like Hololive is kind of, like, going through the same shit that we had to go through, like, years ago, where I was bringing it up before, how there's recently been a whole lot of copyright stuff going on, and, um, like, it, it's apparently very similar to what was going on when um, video game companies were versing LPs, well, where Hololive, Hololive is having issues with the copyright, and I think it's because, um... Video game companies are viewing Hololive as a company, right? Rather than an individual person, right? Which is true, though. Which yeah, they are yeah, which is directed to which, Hololive. Which, which is true. The only problem with that is that it's hurting the VTubers, not Hololive, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the kind of the problem here is that yeah, I I I can understand from a corporate view, right? You have this company that has this talent that's using your games to, you know, stream them and make money off them and all that other stuff, and how that is very different to an individual doing it, right? I understand, like, the corporate, like, boomerisk kind of view of that, right? The only problem... The thing is, is that, of course, that this is Hololive's fault for not getting yeah. its trades. Yeah. A lot of this and is that, not all and that, I and didn't that, see this problem with Ni Nichi Sanji, so they must have gotten into rights. Yeah, and I think that because full you mentioned before that it's been established now that Hollow Lives management is is apparently not not very good. No, <laughs> as good. No, I think no. um recently um Fubuki was tweeting about how um yeah she she's she's not happy at all about any of this um. <laughs> Apparently, and that she she's also made tweets along the lines of saying that if if the management tries to force her to do stuff or tries to force her to say stuff that she doesn't want to say, she's fully prepared to just quit, <laughs> which is very big considering that Fubuki is one of the bigger talents on the on. Oh on yeah, that yeah. Well, like well, that's, what, that that if if she if she quit, that would be a very big blow. Well, right? what, what I'm <laughs> what I'm kind of surprised by. Is at this point a lot of the Hollow Live talent, right? If if Hollow Live isn't doing a job, like they have the capacity to collectively bargain. I don't know what the union laws look like, but you know they have the capacity. Yeah, if you think about it, like all these they girls, also, they they all they also probably have the capacity to like jump ship. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, like they I don't they, think, they I could don't theoretically. Think, I don't, they could, like, kind of yeah. theoretically, like, you know, s I mean, it, this is probably easier said than done, well, right? Well, but they well, could I don't, I don't, create I don't their own company. Think... They could create well, their own the theater thing. company, here's I the guess. Thing. I don't think that they would be able to continue with the same characters, because I believe that the copyright would pro... If Hollow Kaoru, I think, is getting his character. He, I think Kaoru he, yeah. is, is going to have keep his character, though. Yeah, I think I think that like the cop like if Hollow Live was like corporate smart, they would have copyrighted the characters, right? If they're not corporate smart, then obviously the 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 um the you know the people the voices and all that behind them, right, would be like if they were smart, they should be copywriting the characters for themselves, <laughs> right? Like who owns the copyright well, of the characters would be I, a very I, I, interesting the... thing to talk about, right? Because I'm very, very sure that Hololives hires the artists, and the artists make things for company, so the the, the, right. the characters are property of company. Probably right. 
made made by contracted artists. I wouldn't be shocked if that was the case too. Yeah. So I I think that like if they did jump ship, then obviously like I don't think they would be able to keep the same characters. But to be honest with you, like if 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 you had enough word about it and say hey the person that played Fibiki is starting up this new, like, character or whatever on this other channel or something, right? And is doing their own thing. I, I think a lot of people would follow. I, well, I, I mean, yeah. obviously, the, obviously you're going to get drop-off because that happens every time, like, a, a, a YouTuber or whatever does that, right? Where they, like, rebrand, right? You're obviously going to get some drop-off. But I think a lot of people would follow the... Because the, it ties back to the authenticity again because, you know, what are people latching on to? They're latching on to personalities and all that and i don't think the personality would change just because you change the avatar right in a sense like the person the, it's still the same yeah, person the, it's, it's the, just the, 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 yeah. i want to want to just say that the characters that they leave behind can't really be used by somebody else yeah that's what i mean which is the lesson learned from uh Giz and I. yeah that's what i mean so i feel like yeah, it would be an interesting. It would be a very big blow if um some if one if, if the management fucked up in such a way. Yeah, someone left. So someone uh, here's the funny thing too is some of them actually do, uh, stream as themselves, and um, I'm not gonna, uh, I uh, although you could probably figure out who it is. I mean, yeah, people yeah, have, yeah. but people, like people, yeah. people have cro- people yeah. have cross like Kiryu Coco, um, stuff, Kiryu yeah. Coco's um uh actress. Uh, streamed. Oh yeah, the, looks like she did a cosplay yesterday, uh, as oh. herself, like doing her cosplay up and everything like that. Oh my god, that that sounds amazing. And and yeah, Kiryu Coke. Oh dude, she 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 did Tifa. Man, dude, she's not bad looking. It's <laughs> like, but like Kiryu Coco has almost f- uh, five hundred thousand subscribers, and her voice actress, just herself and playing herself, has ninety two point one uh, uh, k subscribers. So. She's got about somewhere in the ballpark of like one fifth, like on her, like not as Coco, but that's not bad. And if if everybody who likes Coco finds out like this is who she really is, a lot of them are probably going to flood into like if she leaves and then, uh, you know, somewhere on Twitter or something like she starts saying like, yeah, I was Kiryu Coco, like. You yeah, want to see I'm more doing, of the same? I'm, doing, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm doing this new thing, you know, you know and stuff like that. Yeah, here's the link. So, um, uh, shit like that. Yeah, I think that would be very interesting. I think uh, I, I hope it doesn't actually happen because you know I don't, I don't, I don't want to hope for bad things to happen, right? Obviously, but I think that if it did happen, it would be very interesting to see how it played out. Right? Um, so yeah, that's that's an interesting yeah. fact, factoid of it. I'm trying to think yeah, if there's any this, other topics. This is the, well, we could uh, say, or I mean, my, 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 the reason why I brought up the translations thing is that I'm a little bit concerned about perceptions. We uh, going way back now, like <laughs> yeah, we, we went a little bit off the rails on that. Um, so well, I'll let, whatever. You, you, you the go. thing is, I'll let you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got we get some. St- the stereotype caricatures of already exec- exaggerated characters. Like, we all think that Pekora is arrogant and kind of stupid. Uh, Aqua is very stupid. <laughs> um, uh, Suisse is a, a complete soci- sociopath, etc., etc. And, yeah... Aqua does pranks and they don't always go as planned, but if we if we're going to take the ultimate test of competence, Dark Souls. Mm. She did a speed run. Mm. And I or either she or somebody else did a no armor low stat speed run or run uh, playthrough which she did, which she cleared. I don't. Maybe it wasn't maybe, Aqua who did this, but maybe, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, characters who we think are stupid or dumb or you know easy, easily manipulated are one, of course, playing it up before the camera behind the safe avatar, mm. and second are getting 
sliced and picked and filtered through the lenses of the translators. The frames that they pick, the moments that they choose. Which makes for some, you know, more even more distorted image that we have than we kind of need it. And you know, it's just my general worry that some more no. toxic behavior flow from Throw it. From like, that, yeah. No, I get you. No, I think I think that's very valid. Um, yeah. I and of course, the solutions aren't easy. It's so why we probably went quickly to another subject. Yeah, it's it's that, like it's like I was saying before. It's like I feel like we need like a way, like outside of obviously learning Japanese or them speaking English, one or the other, right? <laughs> like other than yeah. the, other than like the clearly obvious shit that we shouldn't we shouldn't even have to bring up, right? I feel like the only real way that's going to get solved is if we can get like properly translated streams at a quick pace. If Hololive or Niti Sanji hires or somehow contracts or gets translators to well, either pick themselves if they yeah. if they picked they, yeah, because they, if they, it's if in they their got, interests. If they got the girls themselves to pick the clips is what you I guess what you're kind of saying. Yeah, because you know I mean and that gets kind of another problem, of course, even more manufactured. But now, true, true, others yeah. get others get. Let's not, mm, let's not. Um, I say demean them. I don't know. I don't, mm. Not the right word. They are actors, yeah. and it's and they are act, they they acting, and I think they have a a reasonable claim. I would say maybe to for them to pick out the moments they want to um, oh. give more attention to the enlarge put in the spotlight. And I think that's doable because if we remember, Hololive has those little three D animations that they do, and all of those do come with English subtitles out the gate. So I think Hololive does hire translators or have some. And Sanji yeah. has comics. Yeah, a little, a little, not animated in any way, but you know, drawn segments. So I think that they, which do, are also translated. Yeah, so I think that they do have some translators on staff. So I think what you'll suggest, I think that would actually be an interesting thing. Like if they had like an official Hollow Live Clips channel, like that was an official one, that just kind of like. You know, maybe something happens on a stream and the girl can, like, highlight that and then send that off to the, the translators and they'll do oh, it. Yeah. Like, Not I, just girls, you know. Let's be general, gender neutral here. Yeah, 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 true. Nishi Sanji, Gundo, can, you know, yeah, Gundo yeah, 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 yeah. Kamda can also no, I think moments. I think I think that would be very interesting um, to have something And, of like course, that. it's not like unless they start copywriting everything. Yeah. yeah, this, yeah. That's, that's a discussion for a future time. But... Uh, the translators themselves can pick out moments, mm. but I think it's a little bit too one-sided. There's not too much power, but mm. they have no control over the perception that the, 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 they, yeah. the, the actors have. And I think that that, can get, that has some issues. No, I think that's fair. Yeah. Because, you know... It, uh, yeah, it's kind of corporate offending what I'm doing, maybe, but <laughs> you know, you know, it feels a little bit like that. It's like, oh, the great, the, the good old Nichi Sanji company, they don't really have enough power. They should have more power. You know? <laughs> feels like like I'm arguing that, but now it's it's no, for no, the, I under, for the I, talents. You know, I I understand. I, you you you're arguing for the talents to have more technically more. Power. Yeah, a little bit more more. Control, more maybe. control over control. over the um the perception yeah. over the image. Yeah, over no, no, image. I think that's fair. I think that's a fair opinion to have of it. Um, I don't have like a whole lot that I can really add to that. Like, I think you're kind of summing it up pretty precisely. <laughs> like, I don't, I can't agree. Oh, no, you had like that, like that, like that's the thing. I agree with you, right? Like, I can't really like add too much more to that other than that I agree with you. Yeah. Um, oh, great minds think alike. Pretty much, yeah. Um. Well, most of the time. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I, I think that, um, I'm just trying to think about, like, anything else that I'd want to, like, bring up about this. Um, I think that, uh, this is, this is well, definitely very interesting. I guess we could kind of talk about maybe the English 
like independent Wild West well, a little bit. Yeah, the, I was trying to talk about the Wild West. All the other mm. in the, the everybody else who wants to become a VTuber, mm. including myself. Yeah, wink, appar apparently. Wink, apparently. Wink, yeah. <laughs> like um, we, we sadly couldn't find the violated hero in, hero in Live 2D Avatar for you. Nah, it's a shame. it doesn't exist. <laughs> it's, it's, a shame. it's a shame. It's but, a shame. But like, um, I know. Mr. K, the 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 Dojin artist, mm. is is a VTuber now. He does. He has done draw streams where he draws his characters. He does has done video game streams, a karaoke stream. He's basically one. He's done all the VTuber stuff already. Yeah. He's uh, completely indoctrin not indoctrinated, indoctrinated, initiated into the VTuber. Mm. And it's easier for the artists to do. Yeah, yeah, because the artists can draw their own shit. <laughs> can make their own avatars, yeah. But I have spotted on the internet companies that will either make life 2 d models or 3D models of a character of your own choosing mm. for you to use as a virtual Avatar. Interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, that's actually a very interesting thing, is that we've got businesses kind of popping up in, in relation to this, and I actually sort of predicted this. Um, I was talking with one of the one of my people that I work with um, um, about something else, and I kind of talked about, hey, this 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 is kind of coming up the here, this, this, this VTuber thing. Maybe there's some industry-related stuff, you know, that could... You know, maybe, you know, like, as you said, like, companies that'll make the avatars and make the 3D models and, you know, do all that stuff for people at, at a cost, obviously, you know, like... Yeah, because I, I, I was searching for free Life 2D models mm. for this for this recording, and I came across two companies, two separate companies that would make a model for you, and this one is just taken off from the Steam Workshop. Right, right. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting, but so, getting, so, yeah, but yeah, get, getting companies get, are yeah, formed. Getting getting back to kind of like the wild west, and also more specifically talking about, um, I guess, I guess the because a lot of the wild wilder west kind of stuff is is English side. I feel um, there's a lot of um, well, let's let's not forget the thing that we uh, even I don't speak. Japanese or well, navigate yeah, the yeah, Japanese yeah. So space. Obviously, obviously, we're going to have like a, a biased, limited. a limited window of view on that. Obviously, um, so there could be more or equivalent or less of a fi of the same thing happening in Japan. Maybe you know because there. Are Mr. K became a VTuber, so see, who knows what's happening see, the over thing in is, Japan? Is, is, is that we tend to not see the, the, the like the chaff, right? We don't we don't tend to see no. see the like the tiny little like five viewer channels. Every everything every the, the five viewer videos on Nico Nico. Yeah, we don't we don't see that. Also, hello, uh, uh, fools returned. Hello, fool. we're still going. Yeah, by the sorry way. about we just, that. We, we, no, don't worry. We just had like a little chat about um. Kind of like we, we continue the translation talk, and then we we're now moving into kind of talking about the wild west, kind of the more independent um, VTubers, and we were talking about how that there are companies that have kind of sprung up about um, yeah, there are companies that have sprung up that will do the avatars for you if you send them like a reference, they yeah, will, like make the, make the three D, yeah, and how this is there are industries that are starting to kind of crop up around what's going on. Well, this is becoming an enormous fad all of a sudden too. Yeah, and now we're kind of transitioning more to talking about, um, you know, the independents, the the people, like you know, and we I, I brought I brought like, up like what I am doing, just yeah, yeah, like taking what, the avatar, placing it a. I already had the camera, or I already had face rig, yeah. here bought years ago for the for the fad, and now yeah. I'm a VTuber because yeah. I have an avatar that can look around, wink. Mm. Well, kind if of we works. want our own um, custom ones, all we have to do is have at least two hundred fifty or three hundred dollars, because there are yeah. people out there. They, they, the base the base price is, from what I've seen, between two fifty and three fifty. So. It's priced to be affordable, 
right? It, yeah, it actually like that's, is that's, priced. Yeah. You, you you just has to have the, make sure I mean, the programs. That's, that's the cost work. of like if you were like if you were gonna get like a good microphone, like it's the same kind of like price range, you know, like yeah. to get like a decent mic. So I I can under, like if if you're gonna get really into this, like I I don't yeah like there's definitely that. And then there's also the fact that a lot of um I've noticed that a lot of the English side um has been using like VR chat to do their stuff. Um, oh been God! For the for the tracking for the full yeah 3D for the they use VR chat for like the tracking side of it where they'll do like they'll have like the headset on and they'll do like the uh yeah they'll use like the little tracking dongles on like you can like tie to your shoes and your like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. The wanna... thing is it, uh, that sounds like a copy of what happened in Japan where they first have a, had a focus on full three D models. Mm. before transferring to the Live 2D to only have a 3D model for special occasions and yeah because because crazy. the um because the Live 2D is easier to do because you don't need to like have any form of like tracking like dongles or and it's less of an investment of it, course and it's less it's less intrusive on like the the person who has to wear the suits and all this other shit um so i think yeah it's it's interesting um but yeah, so there's there's a few there's a few I I, I keep an eye on a couple. Um, I I know Iron Mouse is one of my personal faves. Iron Mouse is fucking. Oh, Iron Mouse hilarious. is hysterical. Oh, I love Iron Mouse. She's just oh, she's just adorable. Absolutely. <laughs> that little little feisty little oh, little feisty mouse. That one. That was, that was great. Um, so I yeah I keep an eye on a few of them. Like Iron Mouse is one. There's one that I um bumped into recently. I can't remember what their name is, but their avatar is like. What what is she's like a red haired fucking army ish aesthetic. Like a fuck like she looks like something out of like like not like a Nazi uniform but like a, that kind of style. But she doesn't talk I don't I don't actually know if it's a chick or not because they don't talk. And I think they don't talk. Maybe because they're a man, but I'm not sure. It's a man um, baby. Well, you know, or they they could yeah, they could get maybe. um they could get a a, a voice changer. Or maybe that's just their thing, yeah, and they've maybe. made it their thing that they don't talk, which is good. You know, that's actually interesting. I actually think that's interesting that they don't talk. Again, I was watching one of the clips. Um, they were play. There was some clip about them playing like with the Resident Evil remake, and the way that I'm interested more in the setup than the actual personality, um, because the way they have it set up is they just have like a text box above the character. And they'll just type a message into the... T you know how, like, in, like, 2007 on YouTube or whatever, where you'd have, like, the tutorials where someone would, like, bring up Notepad and, like, type in the steps? <laughs> it's kind of like... Old. Yeah, it's kind of like... Old. It's kind of like that. But she's... Like, she... I'll just say she because the avatar is a female, right? It, but she's streaming. So she's streaming and she sees stuff in the chat and she's, like, gesturing and, like, emoting and all that kind of stuff. And then every so often she'll just, like, go and go to the text box and just type in a message into the text box that'll just stay there for a minute. And it's like, that's, that's actually interesting. I find that fucking, like, really interesting, like, on a technical level. Um, so th there's interesting stuff going on in the space, I think. That's yeah, quite absolutely. quite um, it's quite quite interesting, and that's like the wild west kind of stuff we're talking about, where it's um, you know, there's there's a lot of experimentation going on. I mean, we can't. I mean, considering you know the backgrounds of a lot of us, we can't like not bring up Project Melody, right? <laughs> like we can't can't not bring up Project Melody and how that it's, that's I, going it's on. It's odd because that's another one who started out as a 3D model. It's like. They following all the kids in the eye stuff. Mm. The kids in the eye, um, yeah, yeah, development. It, yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, <laughs> I do. I now I do like Project Melody, right? I, I I've watched. I don't watch her a lot now. I I and I don't think it's it's not because the fads kind of dropped off. It's more because um. One, it's really hard to like. Ch Chatterbait doesn't really have a really good um, notifications of the streams, and because of time zones, it's a bit of a pain. Like, I, it, I'm not gonna fucking catch that shit. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna remember when the hell she's streaming. Um, and, but I do know that she's been doing stuff on Twitch and been interacting with other like tubers and doing doing other things other than the yeah, the fun times. Um, but I also like. I'm not hyper a fan of her kind of like ditzy kind of like you know, silly girl kind of personality. 
It's not not really my my kind of thing, but I, I'm more I'm more interested in Project Melody because I'd actually like to see clones of that like the more adult side sort of crop up. You know what I mean? Like I I feel like that's an interesting. Oh, there are over in Japan. There are already a bunch of CUs who have not transitioned into, but also have made VTuber avatars mm. of themselves. Because you know, if you're already a voice actress. And you have already ties to companies who make games with anime characters. Mm. What's what's the what's stopping you? Yeah, yeah. What's stopping you? The the the, the, the lines are very short. Um, it's it's interesting. If that's an yeah. expression you use, I I, 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 I found it interesting because I do know that there's also a, a certain level of um, like I know that the ASMR stuff has gotten kind of popular. Um, I think ho some of the Hollow Live girls have kind of dabbled into it, but there are actually Pacific um, VTube slash not really VTube style, but I've noticed that there are a few channels that do this kind of thing where they'll have like the ASMR and they'll unironically be using um, custom made 3D fucking like settings and avatars. And I'm like, ooh, ooh that's interesting. Because if you don't know I, what uh, I, I, if you, if you don't know what custom live three D is or however you pronounce it or, or custom auto made three D, um, it, that's a porn game. <laughs> like that's straight up um a porn game, but it has a um a VR contingent to it, right? Where you can have like a a, a, a VR avatar in it, and I think what they've done is they've taken the uh, the girl avatar and superimposed it onto the player avatar, and they're using that to kind of do like a mo you know like. ASMR kind of emotion types and stuff, and have like the 3D character move around in an environment. Yeah, we could talk. We could talk a little bit more about all the different technologies they are merging, because you know, mm. um, if you want to go there. Uh, well, I'll do. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll finish, I'll want to finish off this point, kind of about, right. about you know different types that are cropping up. Because I mean, I brought up Project Melody yeah, because that's because that's interesting. Because Project Melody is obviously a more adult, you know. It, you know, she's doing shit on Chatterbait, right? And I found that, that that's fucking intriguing, right? How that's taken off and become a big deal. And I actually really, you know, for obvious reasons, want to see more of that. Um, but then there's also, like, as I was mentioning before, you have the ASMR streamers that are doing that kind of thing. And the interesting thing about that is obviously they're like the ASMR streamers were, free, you know, not people were doing that without the, the, the VTubers tinge to it before but now i've started to see like more people sort of taking up like the vtuber thing with that as well um and i think that like it lends itself to like more content than just like gaming and talking streams i think so i'm i'm intrigued to see where people start to take this concept right um so just kind of cap off that point and then we can kind of move into the technologies um because yeah there's a lot of different like we mentioned before um Nichi Sanji uses like they're using like the iPhone technology. I'm not entirely sure what. I don't know if Hololive is using the same technology or if they're using something else. Um, I what I gather is that Hololive is almost completely on their desktop, and I think mm. they have their own technology because when I was looking around for face cap expression capture, so that's how it's called. Mm. That's that's I didn't find anything really on Hololive, so they either have some model their own technology, or they are just using some. They are using face or whatever. I, I, I right heard now. they're using Live Two D. Well, yeah, they're using Live Two D avatars, but yeah, it's about the, the program driving ah, the ah, facial ah. recognition, expression capture. Ah, okay. Mm. I believe I thought I've Live Two D did that. No, live, live, no. live, live. Two D is the type of like. Okay. Is that the program you I... create the avatars no, in? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, um, how do how do how do I explain this? Because I know how this works. The, right? It's it's anime. How 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 the characters move. Yeah. Because so, live two D is just a co the, the 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 avatar of a live two D character is just live... a collection of flat images that create the illusion of a 3D model. Yeah, yeah it's... it's and um, Life 2D is the thing that stitches all together. Live, yeah, Life 2D is just the technology. Like, it's the catch-all term for the technology. Um, 
which was a i believe became a thing a number of years ago where yeah it's essentially um you have um a layered image layered like you'll have like the eyes and the eyebrows and the ears and the face and the um like different kind of like like side view front view that kind of thing and then what will happen i mean ali's demonstrating it right now on the screen right is like uh, is that those um elements can move independently of like the like the thing so it takes a 2d image that's flat and then turns it into a animated image right that can be controlled using um various means right like i think the very earliest implementation of live 2d was to do like phone like you you, you point at, on the phone and the character will look at where you're pointing and then you can move around and you can you can hit pat the girl and she'll react and that that kind of thing was like yeah the, desktop assistance and yeah that was the first implementation of it but now it's been implemented because you can obviously rig the different elements to like facial recognition software which is you know yeah. stuff like face what rig yeah you could do face rig there's the iphone um stuff right which Tra- is iphone yeah iphone tracking space of the emoji yeah that stuff um i'm i, I want to know what katarina is using for her 3d model because um i think it's just uh, again her, her her iphone face capture I would. But I think she also using a a leap motion or something else yeah. that tracks her hands. Yeah, because it's a separate technology. Because it's interesting. Because I don't mean this in an insulting way, but the way that she moves is really fascinating to me. Because it's almost like she's a muppet, right? And I don't mean that. I don't mean that in like an insulting way, right? I mean that in like an actually that's kind of cool. Like the way that she kind of like, you know moves around and and that could just be her like acting like how she like is emoting right but it it looks like she's like a marionette and it's actually kind of (laughs) cool i really like enjoy the way that she just like moves because you were showing us a clip of her like freaking out over that getting over it game last night and it was what she didn't she didn't get it over no she she, no she did not get over it at all um but it was funny because she like was freaking out and the tracking was like also freaking out because she was like moving too fast and it was like like the tracking was like glitching the fuck out it was great <laughs> it was hilarious oh man so that's um, why i was that's why I mean, i'm interested in what how she's doing it because i'd, I'd be i'd want to know how to like recreate that same kind of effect because i think it's interesting <laughs> the thing is is of course that even uh, this is not an, something else but the imperfections of her avatar freezing all the time, her hands getting stuck in the air, just adds to the she's completely in disarray and moving yeah. erratically and yeah. completely yeah. in denial of the fact she lost two hours of game time. Because yeah, of it's hell. it's um it adds to it. Like the the jankiness adds to it, you know? It's kinda similar um, it's kinda similar with um what's the other what's the one with like the creepy steer? That steers uh, into your soul. Damn, I forget her name. I always forget her name too. Is it like um, ah oh, fuck, what's her name? Yeah, art student. Yeah, That's the art, the art student girl. Yeah, she um. The the funny thing about that is I think that that's just one hundred percent organic. Like I don't think that was like intentional. I think that's just she, the... she plays it up these days, of course. Yeah, she plays but... it up now. Yeah, but I think that that was like. <laughs> I think that was like just like they didn't realize how creepy it looks, and it <laughs> when when the rest the resting face is looking straight into the camera with eyes wide open. <laughs> My favorite one is the one where she's looking at the screen, and then she just turns to look at the camera and opens her mouth <laughs> and unwidens the eyes, and she does it like really slowly, where she's just like. Uh, oh, she knows. But by, by this oh, point, she knows. Yeah, by this point, she knows. Yeah, looks like. but it's it's fucking hilarious. I love it. <laughs> it's great. Oh man, and it's stuff like that. That is, you know, the organicness of it. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I love it. Oh man. Yeah, but just to go back to the to the technology. Well, sh- well, maybe we should have a list. We what you what you need as to become a VTuber like me. <laughs> 
Yay. Um, a good webcam. Yes. To to track, uh, or let, let's start with the very basics, a good PC. Because mm. as I learned, tracking your face takes a lot of GPU and CPU power. Mm. Because, first off, the the computer needs to calculate the face and stuff and figure out the depths and the the shape and the the tracking. Then it needs to be translated in real time to a model, three D or otherwise, mm. and that costs a lot of GPU to. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of processing power involved in that kind of yeah. that kind of stuff, and. You can and to track your and then for expression tracking you have a webcam, and uh, when you have your expression tracked, you uh, you use face rig to do the, the, the translation from your ugly reality. I believe to I believe you need fanciful I believe, fantasy. I believe that you need face rig, and I think face rig has a specific live two D. Uh, D, not not a DLC, but they have like an extension that you can get. Yeah, or, or I wanted to keep it a little bit more general. Like you need an expression. Uh, you need tracker. You, you need some form of expression tracking software. Yeah, be that Live Two D, yeah. be that the iPhone, you know that kind of thing. Yeah. So next step, video bro- video recording or otherwise broadcasting software. This case, in this case, I'm using OBS, and you Im- or out. You have you, 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 the webcam, webcam to the expression tracker, expression tracker to the OBS. OBS broadcasts it. Mm. In this case, records it. And voila, you are a VTuber. Yay! Now, now, there, now you can add more stuff, like a server where your movement gets <laughs> transmitted to. So, other, so you can appear to be moving in other videos in other people's videos mm. while they are streaming as well you can and if you want to do full body stream tracking you need some yeah you can either pick for to go all, all native in the program a la uh, vr chat or you rig it in, i was i was told you rig it in unity you, all these elements, your expression tracker, your body trackers, all in Unity, and then let Unity uh, all transmit it all to OBS. See, that's interesting. I didn't know about that. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I was it, I saw it in a, in a in a chart of some sort, and it was kind of outdated. But hmm. yeah, you need um, you 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 basically rig it to Unity and also Unity to. Uh, server, so you your yeah, so uh, yeah. tracking gets Inter- in- you know, in- interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. And then of course you got leap motions for uh, gestures. And, yeah, a uh, lot of a lot of the a lot of the, v- the one of the advantages of the VR chat implementation is that you you can program um, gestures into like the VR controller, right? So, well, what I mean by gesture tracking is. Basically, hand tracking. Oh yeah, that that too. But uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I miss I miss Huji off what you were talking about. Um, like emote, like you can um program, uh, hand button like like making certain hand movements on like the VR well, controller. I can I can change change my not really my expression, but I can change my how I look. Yeah, like, that's what I'm talking. That, that's what I'm talking about. But you can do that like on the fly. In VR chat, using, yeah, using like I'm emotions. now very depressed and I'm very disappointed in you all. No, <laughs> you can go yandere mode. <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah, so why, some, like, why, why are you? Why, why are you watching those bad, bad anime YouTubers? <laughs> why are you I'm not? Why, why are you not watching our our amazing channel? Why? 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 Are you, what are you doing? <laughs> now this character doesn't have a good good yeah uh, right? doesn't doesn't have the the, the death eyes uh, ah, expression so it doesn't work as well oh well all right well um i don't know if there's any other kind of topics we want to cover um VTuber-wise. no i think we in our ramblings we kind of covered from history to future and 
Yeah. Oh, I mean, not as much future, but well, yeah. we talked about a lot of we well, talked about a lot of different different uh, overarching. Topics yeah, we did. About... Well, there, there was you know there's there's a couple things that you know we could expand on, but they're I guess you could say more academic, right? Mm. Like you know, and the audience probably ain't into that. So, but uh, yeah, well, no, I mean, but it's I I think VTubers, yeah, VTubers are an interesting thing to talk about, and I think as as it kind of continues to progress, there's you know, the only thing I stuff going I, I'm kind of afraid of is that you know this is going to be the the this is going to turn out to be this. Not just the Wild West kind of thing, but, like, this is the, the giant craze where everybody's going to try to start being a VTuber. And mm. that's, like, one of those things where it's, like, if you want to be successful at all, you have to be a VTuber now. And I'm kind of right. nervous well, that that's going to be one of those, you know, fads for six months where the only way you can make a, a successful channel or whatever is to to be a VTuber or some craziness like that. Well, in that case, I'm already on it. <laughs> but <laughs> as a more serious answer, um, avatars, drawn avatars are already a yeah. thing. Hell, it, avatars that it, change yeah. expression when you talk about it has they been done by spirit science, no less. <laughs> so, oh, um, I am, I am, I'm not. In that sense, this is not really thing any, anything new. The thing is that this is way more expressive and apparently way more think, way easier than people expected. I think you could kind of maybe describe it as like the next kind of logical step, right? Like you had, like you said, you've got people that have done like the whole, you know. Avatar extra credits, it, yeah. Extra credits has done that. A lot of those skeptic channels, you know, back in the day, uh, or let's let our good friends of the show, uh, Necro and uh, Unknown, uh, even even anime, anime Matt does it, you know, yeah. So, yeah, so I, it's, I, in that sense, it, it feel like if you think of it like that, it's it's almost like that's it's it's the logical next step from yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you've got your mascot. Now. now you can actually take your mascot and get it animated and everything like that. So mm. it's it's you know it, it it is in in that sense it is the next logical step. And that's kind of what I was meaning before when I was talking about like okay, so this this can probably apply to more than just the standard VTuber style content, well, right? I, I feel guess, like I what guess... might what I feel like like tying into what you were saying, right? I think that what we might see is yeah, people are going to go the VTuber route, but I think rather than it being like the VTuber route, it's going to be people are just going to use the same concept but for um, other things, right? Like you know, gardening channel. Like, you'll have, like, the gardening channel, but it will be, like, a cute, you know, avatar of, like, I don't know, like a deer or something, right? And it's just, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I think that that, that might be, like, the furries are going to get on it <laughs> or some oh, shit. Oh, God, yeah. You know, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, I think that there's going to be, like, some of that. And rather than it being like a craze in the sense of everyone's trying to be like Hollow Live, it's going to be a craze in the sense of everyone's going to adopt the technology. Yeah, and right. what I guess I'm, I, I guess one of the things I'm afraid of too is that if that happens, it won't be special anymore. Yeah, familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, that's the thing with. That's already the thing with every technology. So, it's it's. I think that's a hard. It's kind of a really de- kind of inevitable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, you're you're right. It is kind of inevitable. I mean, stream, stream uh, st- uh, on-screen donations were a f- were a novel thing at the time. Hell, yeah, um, hell, even streaming, live <laughs> streaming, live streaming, streaming all, yeah, in, yeah, playthroughs, etc. Hmm. I mean, uh, I think this will still have more of a special place in people's heart because you know you see. The person reacting, yeah. even if it's behind the mask. Yeah, yeah. With a great end. Yeah, yeah. VTubers are real people behind the mask. Yeah. Fade out. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> All right. I don't have hands, but. <laughs> uh, had oh, lost tracking there. I wanted to wave goodbye with my hands. Rip. Okay. 